Okay, so we're going to start with, uh, with, uh, with sets. Um, so uh, the, the whole course is geared towards, uh, towards calculus. Okay, so, so you are supposed to, at the end of the day, uh, be prepared for calculus as, mu as much as possible. Uh, once again, under, under the assumption that you have brought some, something from before, uh, which is primarily uh, algebra. Uh, so, I don't know, adding fractions, something like that. So, uh, so some, uh, those things will not be reviewed, but the rest of, of what you're bringing to calculus will. Okay, so, so and that is the, the place to start, uh, is, is, uh, is with, uh, with sets. Um, so, have you heard of sets before? Sets? Okay, so, an example of a set? Anyone? It is, probably should be the easiest question to ever ask because just every, everything else is a set. So, a class of students is a set. Uh, pins in that bag is, 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 is a set or uh, anything, anything like that. So, so we form sets uh, arbitrarily uh, from uh, objects of, um, of arbitrary uh, nature. Uh, the only thing that the challenge here is that the word set might mean something else in plain English, uh, uh, different from what we use here. So a set of, of uh, uh, silverware, for example, it has certain structure in it. Okay, so it is exactly the opposite of what we uh, are trying to, to have here. Uh, there is no structure whatsoever. So, so you, it's, uh, you can imagine there is, a, there is a bag of things, whatever those things are, as long as you know whether or not every item is there or it is not there. So as long as you know that, you have formed a set. Okay, so uh, naturally, since it's about calculus, eventually uh, those little things might be numbers, but they don't have to. So, uh, so for example, as an example from some somewhere slightly different place, uh, it would be points. Points on the plane. So, from two uh, examples of mathematics, where we form sets arbitrarily, it is numbers. So, one, two, three. It is a set, and uh, typically you are able to put it uh, in the form of a list. And when you do that, you use uh, these little braces around it. Okay, and then points on the plane. Uh, well, any points, you know, uh, it is it is literally a plane, and you can you can uh, put something, uh, some geometric figure on the on the plane, and it will be a set as well. Okay, so so the uh, 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 the sets are formed from uh, from what we say elements. So these are elements. And uh, they, they can be formed in a number of ways, but uh, to begin with, we'll just stick with, with lists. So what, what kind of sets can be formed as lists? So just, just uh, literally like there, I listed one, two, and three, and that is a set. And I, can, I know that uh, one is on the list. So one is here. Four is not. Okay, so that's, that's the key things about the set. You include some elements and you exclude others. That's it. Okay? With points, uh, usually you see some curves or, 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 or I don't know, straight line is a certainly a set. Uh, but uh, if you want to stick with uh, um, lists, uh, you might uh, pick three points or four points arbitrarily and that, uh, once again, is a set. Okay? So, uh, so that's another example with students. I don't know, books. Once again, whether those books are on, sh on a shelf, catalog, or they're not, uh, it doesn't matter, maybe they are there in a pile, it's, it's, it's the same set. The only question about, about it is, does this particular book belong to this set? It's there or it's not there, okay? So um, the one that I wanna, uh, I'm gonna be doing examples with is here, So to illustrate, to illustrate, uh, sounds great. Uh, to illustrate uh, the ideas of sets, uh, I'm going to be using this little image. Open with. Paint. 
Okay, so that's a set. So that's, that's what I'm starting with is the set of all five boys. Okay, so Tom, Dan, Ned, Ken, Sid. Okay, so uh, so some of them are here, and then there is a there is a there is a here. Hmm. Let's see if I can draw here. Yeah, okay, I can. Uh, okay, so so that's a set. I could form uh, other sets. Well, well, let, let me first make sure that this is understood, that I could, you know, do this. It's the same set. I could move them around. That does not make any difference as far as the... Well, that's a problem, obviously. <laughs> I can't. I can't. It doesn't it doesn't want to work. Okay. So uh, so I move. I can move. I can move them around, and uh, it will be exactly the same set. Okay. But I could form a new set. Okay. So that's a new set over there on on the on the right. Okay. So one set, another set. I know that Sid does not belong to that set, and Ben doesn't. Tom does, and so on. So you can. You can uh, uh, you can see of this as a uh, as a starting point of of what uh, you can do uh, with sets. You certainly can just write them down, which is what I'm going to do next. Okay, so can Tom, Sid, Ned, who else? Ben, Ben. Okay, so that's my list, and this is how we put it once again. So. Uh, so, so five elements. The order doesn't matter, so I can once again rearrange these. Uh, I could put Tom in the beginning, and it will be the same set. Okay. So, so oh, always uh, keep in mind this. The, I just choose this because it's it's kind of visual, and so you can you can actually uh, follow what's going on with, uh, by just uh, looking at the, those little pictures. But uh, ultimately, it is it is uh, will bring us back to points. Uh, numbers of any kind of vectors later on if, if you were you were studying calculus. So all of this still applies. Okay, so the next concept is uh, subsets, which I already uh, just suggested. So for example, Ken and Tom is a subset of, well, let's call this X. So, and this is a. Okay, so so we start with an element of uh, uh, x, called x. Um, uh, it has uh, five elements, and then we formed uh, what we call a subset. So what's a subset? It's any uh, list that is that contains uh, elements from from the set x. So I picked the first two, but I could have uh, picked say Sid. Ned, uh, Tom, I could pick three or more. It doesn't matter. Uh, all of you can you can try to count how many possibilities you've got here. Quite a lot, including uh, including special uh, sets. Uh, one element set is also possible. One element set, two element set, three element set, four, and five element set is also. So subset X is a subset of itself. So this is the notation. Uh, anybody knows the notation for subsets? This is the notation for subsets. Have you seen this before? A X. Okay, so it's uh, uh, the symbol is it's like a letter U on the side, and it is should should probably remind you of uh, say uh, inequality sign. So two less than three. Okay, so in a sense, the set X is bigger than the set A. Okay, so it contains it, and in that sense, uh, that's that's the similarity. That's the idea. Okay, so um, um, you can certainly uh, the the idea is certainly uh, is, is entirely applicable to uh, to numbers. So let's do it uh, side by side. 
So we have, uh, say, 1, 2, 3 is a subset of 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? Which in turn is a subset of uh, how about the set of all integers? Okay, so numbers between negative infinity and infinity. Uh, remember those integers say negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So uh, continuing on to, to, left, to the left and to the right, that's the set of integers, of all integers. And all the, if, you, if you're talking about uh, integers, then whatever you, you form with little list, uh, usually it is kind of a, uh, it's not infinite. Uh, the set of integers is an infinite set. So that, that's the difficulty we're going to uh, face only later. At this point, let's just stick with, with smaller ones. Uh, a different, uh, kind, different level of challenge is, uh, is in geometry. So when you are trying to speak of the same thing, but now not only you have, you might have infinitely many points, uh, there you cannot, you know, even count them like this. So you can, at least uh, you try to follow that, that set of interests, you can walk through, if you have any amount of time, you can walk over all of these uh, elements and, uh, well, and visit them all. But uh, uh, in geometry, so if you have on the plane, you can, uh, you can literally draw one object and it has the, 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 these many points. So every point is there. So you cannot possibly, it's called a continuum. You know, just like uh, the space we're living in, uh, there are, there are, the, if you have two points, there is always a point in between. And then if you uh, zoom in, it will be still there, points will be, will be left, uh, some, some of them will be left. So that's something to deal with uh, later. Um, that's what the calculus is for. Uh, but uh, let's just point out that you can have a, a subset, say, well, maybe something greater. Okay, so that would be a subset. Anything that is contained in the bigger set is, is, is a subset. So that's a subset. Okay, so, um, so not much else to be said about this. Just the idea itself should, should gradually, over the whole uh, semester, uh, sink in and you, you become comfortable with dealing with uh, with sets, so that uh, when when you get into into calculus, they would be very you, you should feel very comfortable uh, using them, and uh, especially if you continue on with uh, more advanced par parts of calculus, then the, you might be dealing with uh, once again those uh, points on the plane, points in the in space, uh, and that or vectors and uh, well, you name it. Okay, so the next one. Uh, the next uh, issue that I want to uh, discuss, and that is really central to, to calculus, and that is uh, functions. Uh, well, functions and relations. Okay. Functions and relations, uh, what do they have to do with sets? You usually have two sets for them. So relations between elements of two sets. In order to make that point, I have another set, uh, the set of balls. Okay, so as you can see, it's a, uh, it is definitely another set. It has four elements. Once again, you can rearrange the the, uh, the ball around, and then you can you can try to um, uh, form subsets, and so on. So a list of uh, four balls, if you want to write them down, that will give you um, such a list. So uh, say, uh, so I have my set of, uh, say, those five boys. I should probably write them down, but uh, let's say we have. And we have, that's x. And then we could have set y, which is four balls. Okay, so two sets that have nothing to do with each other, uh, at least uh, early at this stage. Um, even though hypothetically we can we can put them together and form a new set, a set of boys and balls. Okay, so you have nine elements, and uh, as long as you know whether a certain object belongs to the set or not, then that you have your set. Um, uh, but uh, functions and relations is what uh, what we are uh, interested in. Um, and the idea is uh, is to uh, the relation between between the two sets, and then the, what is the relation between boys and balls? There, uh, they will be some of them will be playing with some of the balls. 
Okay, so let me try to make that picture for you. Okay, so um, okay, so let me take these. Let's start a new one. Okay, so these are the bo the boys, and now I'll add maybe like this. And um, the other one, false. Where is it? This one. Okay. That's what we've got. So uh, let me try to separate them so we wouldn't be confused that we do have two, ball, uh, two uh, sets unrelated to each other. Okay, so I'll try to say circle them. So this will be my set X and this will be my set Y. Okay? Okay, and now now let's uh, let's uh, set up the relations between between the boys and balls. So uh, if a boy plays with a particular ball, we will uh, draw an arrow. Okay. So. Okay. So say Ned plays uh, tennis, and maybe football, and Ken plays basketball. And Tom plays tennis, and Ben plays basketball and baseball. And Sid, Sid, Sid doesn't like doesn't like any any sports. It's also it's possible. Okay, so uh, so maybe on this day maybe he's uh, he's uh, has a cold. So so we just look at the, these boys playing, and we'll just uh, just uh, uh, take take uh, um, take note of what sports they have been playing during that day. Okay, and we just uh, put arrows here. That is called a relation. How about R? A relation between one set and the other set that establishes uh, which, which uh, element on the left connected to which element on the right. Well, first of all, that we need to remember is that this is a uh, not a relation from x to y, but rather between x and y. So we could reverse those arrows, uh, or rather, let's just mark arrows on both sides, so that we can go from balls, from boys to balls, and we can go from uh, uh, from balls to balls as well. Okay, so it is a two-sided relation. Okay, so uh, so the whole relation is right here. So you, there is there is no trouble to read it, uh, whatever whatever there is uh, from uh, from this. Uh, from this picture, but we're going to do more and, uh, um, and and find other ways to represent uh, this relation. So here's a, here's one uh, relation that is typically uh, uh, that is very natural. Or maybe you can suggest how how else would you? This is a bunch of data you have, uh, and you can imagine that you have 100 boys or 100 balls. That might be a problem, and you want to record it in some more compact way. Any? How would you do it? Rather than having pictures and arrows, how else would you go about it? Yes. A list and a chart. So, uh, so we have two lists, right? So, uh, let me start with the list of X, which is uh, Ken, Ned, Tom, Sid, and Ben. Okay, and then, uh, uh, then strictly speaking, I have now a list of of Y as well. Um, I, I could certainly just uh, against Ken, I could write whatever he. Uh, plays with, okay, uh, so he plays basketball, okay, Ned plays uh, tennis, and, um, and football, 
Uh, and Tom plays tennis only. Sid's not playing anything. And Ben plays basketball. Oops. Uh, basketball. And uh, and baseball. Okay, so you can just create a list uh, of uh, of of, uh, uh, of whatever every boy plays with. But there is a more effective way to do it, and that is uh, to form take that information and make it spread it out. How you list? So these are Y's over here. These are Y's. But what we can do instead, we can also put Y in the form of a list. Except we're gonna go horizontally. Let me explain what I have in mind. Uh, so I, I, I'm trying to make up a table. I'm, I'm trying to make up a table for uh, for my uh, two lists. So I will still list a Ken, Ned, Tom, Sid, and Ben. And I uh, so vertically, and I will list like this. And I list Y over here uh, horizontally. So I'll have basketball. Uh, I have tennis. I have uh, football, and I have uh, uh, baseball. Yeah. Can you read it? Okay. So. Um, okay. So so what I'm going to do? I'm just mark. I will be marking marking things. So so ahead of time, maybe I don't even know anything. This is actually a pretty convenient way of of collecting information. So you're looking at. Uh, who plays what and just make a mark. So Ken plays basketball. Uh, I, I put a mark here. Ned plays tennis and football. Uh, Tom plays tennis. Tom plays tennis. Sid doesn't play anything. And Ben, ben plays basketball and baseball. Okay, is this correct? Okay, so a table of, uh, of uh, that collects all the data. So if you go back, so these little arrows that you collected by I don't know, looking at the pictures of all the boys and the, and the balls, and then uh, it's very visual, and we're going to use what's on the left. But if you want to move into a more like a data and uh, processing data analysis, uh, when you how you cannot handle uh, in a visual way uh, the, uh, more information than just a few uh, few items. So you can imagine that what I have on the right is much more beneficial, much more. Compact, and that is why I could really uh, not only handle uh, five balls. I can, but boys, I can uh, 100, 100, or 1,000 boys. And, and the activities might might have hundreds of different activities. And once again, I will handle them using this kind of a, a table. So once again, every uh, connection is here on the list, like this. Mm, yeah, roughly. Okay, so so it's a table. Well, sometimes this is how sometimes it is done. You put uh, like a line here, x and y. Okay, so that x goes vertically, y horizontally. Okay, and uh, and then you mark all, and all, all the information is here. Um, typically, how what do you use to handle a bigger data? If anybody knows, what kind of software you can handle this? Excel. Excel. This is pretty much how Excel works, and I'll, I'll show you. That's that's no, no trouble. Uh, once again, I could, well, uh, let me take a moment. Uh, uh, Excel, Excel, Excel. Excel. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, so um, if I have only uh, five and, six and and four, that's that's no trouble. So just start typing. Okay, so uh, let's open it. Okay, uh, hmm. I need to see both of them at the same time. So I can type. Okay, so I'll I'll do literally what you can see. I'll take that table and put it in the form of a literal table in the spreadsheet. 
Okay, so uh, so this will be my x x, and I will be typing a uh, what? Uh, Ken and Ned and Tom and Sid and Ben. Okay, and here I will be. I'll put um, as I pointed out like this. Are we having uh, uh, the balls? So basketball. Basketball, and then the next one is tennis, and the next one is uh, football, and the next one is baseball. Okay, so and then I just uh, put the crosses uh, where where they belong. So uh, I like this X, and uh, here, and x and x x okay so um uh you can so that, that's that's it so we we capture all the data and we can have more data if, if we can handle the you can uh you can have thousands of of rows in an excel spreadsheet okay so and uh, certainly if you that kind of situation that is made up but you can think about uh Say maybe you have 1,000 employees, then you wanna they have duties, and then you create a spreadsheet for for the, 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 those duties versus uh, employees, and you mark what, whichever duties are uh, uh, that that person is uh, responsible for. Okay, and then what is it? It is the relation between the two sets of duties, sets of uh, sets of, um, uh, uh, of of the employees. So this is a simple one that you can not only have it uh, in the form of data, you can and that's a big advantage because it doesn't really happen a lot. It is the advantage is that you can you can visualize it. So so don't don't forget where everything comes from. It's from the list of the pictures uh, to uh, to like blobs or 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 uh, ovals uh, with elements of those two sets listed somehow inside, and then arrows connect one one to the other. Okay. Okay, now that's not the end. However, I could do even a better job with with uh, with this. Um, if you go beyond like like uh, data processing, uh, what I'm going to do is I will introduce I will introduce axes. This is the x-axis, the vertical one, right? The set is x, so I call it uh, the x-axis because I, I have a line, uh, my, uh, the, 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 those five elements, uh, along the x-axis, okay? And the y-axis is horizontal, like this. Okay, so the balls are aligned along the y-axis. So um, you may have seen x's before. So what, what do you think about the, the my table? What do the uh, uh, axes usually? How how are they arranged usually? The axes. In order. Yeah. Which what is the order? Which way uh, x points and which way does uh, y point? Yeah, yeah. That's right. X horizontal to our right and uh, vertically up uh, the y-axis. I can do it. I can do it. Uh, and in fact, I'm using uh, Microsoft uh, uh, Paint, so I could just uh, move stuff around. Uh, there, uh, all I have to do, I want to take the same data and just flip it appropriately. So, uh, okay, so this is my table. What I'm going to do with it, I'm going to, now I want to put, make x point to the right and I want to point uh, y, the uh, horizontal one, to point up. So you cannot do it in one step, you have to do two steps if I remember correctly. I, uh, there are the, the, these options. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise okay and uh, as you can no that's hold on a second that's not 
Okay, I need to, okay, let's, let's flip. I want to X point to the right. Okay, so to, uh, to make X point to the right, I uh, will flip it horizontally like this. Okay, so you follow me, I, I raised 90 degrees, now I'm flip, 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 flipping horizontally like this. Okay, X uh, points horizontally, Y vertically, unfortunately it points down, so all I have to do is just to flip it one more time, uh, vertically like this. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, what happened? I, I think I pushed the wrong one. I did another horizontal. Okay, so I want Y points up, so I have to flip ver vertical. Yes, okay. Okay, so it's the same table. I just arrange all my X's in a more uh, appropriate way. Okay, so my Y axis is now pointing up as as intended, and the X axis up, and the uh, Y axis and X axis right here, uh, it is pointing to the right. Okay, so uh, then these markings become what do they become? They become uh, points. And what I'm referring to here is, well, maybe you know what this is called. Um, it's called the graph. It's called the graph, which, which, uh, what is the, uh, what is the, uh, the graph? Uh, usually we refer to graphs of functions, which is we, we're getting to it, uh, but also <coughs> graphs of relations. So you have typically, uh, if, you, if you think about graphs you may have seen before, they are about uh, numbers. Uh, some numbers are located on the x-axis, one on the y-axis, and then uh, every little dot that you place on the, on the x-y plane is a relation between two of those, or two of those, one x and one y. Okay, so you can see what, remember where these crosses came from, this is where they came from, uh, net place tennis, okay, net place tennis over here, that's why we have a mark here, so from that, net, which is on the x-axis, okay, I go and look if there is a mark in that part of the, of the table, and uh, I, there is, and then if I go from that point to the right to the y-axis, I discover what game he plays. So once again, net, that's just too uh, large. So from net to tennis. Okay, so all the information uh, then that we have established uh, in that particular <coughs> graph now is contained in this, contained in that table on the right, but it also contained in this graph uh, at the bottom. Okay. So, so that's where graphs come from. They come from tables, and they come from tables of, of data, and they come from either relations of or uh, functions of, uh, of, 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 of whatever data is. It doesn't have to be numerical data necessarily uh, for us to have uh, uh, graphs. Okay. So, so uh, five minutes left. Let, let me mention uh, the uh, uh, bigger. Uh, topic here, and that is that is functions. So what is so special about functions? Uh, functions are relations, but it's of special kind. So here, let me just uh, remind you, so we had R, R, R. Yeah. R, relation between x and y. Okay, so from x to y. Uh, one sort. The way, the, the way we're talking, we'll just pick an element in x, one element in y, and connect them by an arrow. Now we have f, a function, from x to y. You can see the difference uh, in the language, uh, and the difference in the language is that uh, the x and y are not uh, equal anymore. So if you go to our data, once again, in the original data we have arrows and they point in both directions, so once again data is equal relation. In the table, I just chose to, in the table, I chose to put x vertically, y horizontally, but uh, as you can see it doesn't really matter, I could flip it, it's the same data. Okay? Uh, however, it is not the case anymore if we now switch to, uh, to, to functions. So functions are, or is a function is a relation, 
such that there is only one, exactly one, y for each x. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that the first arrows become one-sided. Uh, and secondly, there cannot be no two arrows leaving the same origin. Okay, so if we go back to, to the boys, uh, the situation we would have described is how about we want to talk about the most favorite game of each boy, rather than whatever they have played and they have might have multiple choices. What if there is only one choice because there is only one game that, that boys prefers? Even that, that but the boys that didn't play anything, well they, he will have one um, uh, preferred uh, preferred um, uh, a preferred game. Okay, um, so I'm uh, running out of time, so I'll start that next time. In the, uh, in the meantime, email me if you have any questions about how to log in.